There are a ton of shortcuts and strats in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but most of them are really easy that anyone could do regardless of skill level. So in this video, I'll go over all of the advanced shortcuts you need to know when playing online. Keep in mind that I'm only going over 10 of the 48 tracks here, so if you noticed I missed a shortcut or two worth mentioning, it's probably because the track it's on is very uncommon or the shortcut is very, very easy. Either way, each of these shortcuts are essential to know when competing in this game. So without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. Just before getting started, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I can guarantee you won't regret it. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment because I'll probably respond to it. Yeehaw, bud. The glider cut on Mario Kart Stadium is a great place to start because it's a little difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's a piece of cake. It's really easy with Shroom since you just have to hold back and Shroom on the glider section, but that's not the case when taking it Shroomless. The general idea here is that you want to hold right for the most part on the big straight. Make sure you're holding right as you bump into the wall, and also make sure you bump into the wall while on the glider ramp. If you bump into the wall before the glider ramp, chances are you'll lose your ultra mini turbo. And while you can still make the shortcut while holding tight on the glider ramp, you'll have a pretty bad alignment and likely less consistency. Another glider cut that could really help you out is the one on Dolphin Shoals. While you can perform the shortcut shroomless, it barely saves any time at all and is really, really difficult. So you should only use this shortcut if you have at least one mushroom. The main thing you want to do here is perform a right drift before going off the glider ramp, then hold back and left. That's really all you need if you have two or more mushrooms, but it's a little more precise with one shroom. I would suggest shrooming as your combo is about to tilt to the left, then aim for the middle of where you would land, and you should get enough air. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but screwing it up can mess your whole groove up because it can be really awkward when trying to realign. So don't fail it, forehead! Now, on Mount Wario, it's pretty easy to just hop into the snow cut, and it's not much slower than going around. But you can make the snow cut faster by performing a mini turbo before it. Release a mini turbo as far to the right as you can, and hop into the shortcut. If you get enough air without clipping the off-road, you'll be given her. Performing the shortcut with a mushroom is much faster, but by performing a mini turbo before hopping into the shortcut, you'll save a good chunk of time over going around, and especially simply hopping into the shortcut. There are two shortcuts worth going over on GBA Mario Circuit. The glider cut doesn't see much use online because you do skip a double box and you can get target shocked, but you do get air time and space from the other racers until the final straight. Anyway, make sure you release a mini turbo before taking the shortcut, not a super mini turbo. After that, the shortcut really isn't too difficult. There may be times you don't get enough air from the glider, but holding back should do the trick. Anyway, there's also the ending shortcut. You'll most likely end up clipping the off-road in some way, but just release a super mini turbo and neutral hop twice, and you should skip the final turn with ease. It's kind of random whether you'll get the fast ending cut or not, but it's a lot faster than going around the shortcut regardless. On Dota Plains 3, if you're intending to run, you should always be taking the beginning shortcut. There are a few ways to pull this one off, but the safest method, in my opinion, is drifting off the two bumps and landing in between the grass patch and the wall, then releasing your super mini turbo. For me personally, I find the underwater method to be a little tricky, especially if you're aiming for the fast strat. Regardless of which method you're most comfortable with, you'll still be saving a huge amount of time over driving around. Now, this really isn't a shortcut, but it's definitely essential to know online. You can approach the key section wide, then go in tight and trick off the first key, and land back on the track with ease. This could also set you up pretty nicely for the super bounce, since you'll likely only have to soft drift, no holding wide or tight. However, online, you'll land into the item set, so you won't be able to realign on the fly if you want a double box. So going around isn't a bad idea if you want to easily get a double box. It's also worth mentioning that this key trick makes this section super laggy, so if you do go around, you'll be able to nail a double box really easily unless someone in front of you is also not taking the key trick.
on TikTok clock, there are two shortcuts worth going over, and they're mainly effective on lap one. The first being the middle path at the beginning, which is only effective on lap one. Trick off the very tiny incline on the hand, then aim for the right of the incline to get a trick off the second ramp and get some kind of low trick. It's really easy, and it's definitely worth going for online if you're starting in the front. And while the ending shortcut is definitely a bit harder than the middle path, it's still a shortcut you must take online, since it saves nearly a second over going around. There are a couple ways you can execute the shortcut once you're on the hand, whether it be just driving straight before tricking or performing a right hop on the hand, so just do what works for you. Try to make this shortcut as easy as possible for yourself, since it's one of the most important shortcuts in the game, at least on lap 1. While you can perform it on lap 2 and 3, it's not nearly as relevant then. Here's an easy one, the Ice Ice Outpost Double Cut. These two shortcuts are are super important to take if you're front running or just in general honestly unless you'll get bumped off or need a double box i think the only quote unquote difficult parts of the shortcut are aligning for the second cut in case you get bumped or something or the mini turbo trick i suppose i don't have much else to say here because this shortcut really isn't that hard Another easy but super important shortcut is the Hyrule Circuit Ending Cut. It can be a little tricky to learn if you're inexperienced with the game. That's at least how it was for me back in 2014. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. The easiest mistake to make is simply hopping too late. But once again, once you make it a couple times, you'll be given up from there. Another important thing to mention here is that on lap 3, you'll have to position yourself a little more to the left after the shortcut because of the plant. Taking the shortcut as tight as possible on lap 3 will only lead to you getting screwed over by the plant. Simple as that. And lastly, the Ribbon Road Double Cut. While on paper these shortcuts are super easy to make, falling off, especially on the second shortcut, can happen every now and then. The wave and your pacing can make the second shortcut a bit more difficult given your situation, but if you're unsure, just drift onto the ramp. It's faster to perform a mini turbo trick on the wave before the shortcut if it's available to you, and while there is an even faster strat on lap 1, I'm not going over it because it's never worth going for online. Simply put, try to get consistent at the double cut on all three laps, and you'll be given a full throttle. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Every shortcut I went through today is super important online, and in most cases, you should always go for them. If you weren't familiar with these shortcuts before watching this video, I wish you the best of luck on getting these shortcuts down. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, have yourselves a fantastic day, and keep on giving her, bud.